Welcome back to the channel guys, we're back today with episode 20 here of the Rebuilding West Indies Cricket Captain 2017 series. We are now 3-0 behind to the hands of England in the one day international series. We move on to the fourth ODI today, it's a day night game again and hopefully we can have more of a repeat of episode 18 where it's a very narrow margin but fingers crossed this time we can get the turnaround we need. Let's run the intro and see what's going to happen in today's episode. Larry's down the ground, that's going to be his first six. Oh, that's bold. This time, go and look for that one. So then, welcome back. We have just had the toss here for the fourth one-day international against England. The pitch is nice and sunny. It's looking like a good batting track. And we've won the toss again. We went with the heads call and we managed to win the toss, which is a great start to the fourth ODI. And we're going to go with the bat first. It's always um, advisable to go with the bat first from what I've read online uh, in regards to this. So we're going to start things off. We're going to go... With three aggression, we're going to also go on low and chances. And we're going to start things off. And it looks like Wood might have already picked up Hetmeyer. Ball goes through to the keeper. So Wood now into Shimon Hetmeyer. That's got to be going leg side. Don't worry about that. Wood into Hetmeyer again. And he's bowled him. Shimon Hetmeyer has gone again very cheaply here. And Hetmeyer goes for 14 off 19 balls, which brings in Jeremy Solazzano into the crease and we've also got Lendl Simmons now that is leg side as well so we're not really scoring too much with the bat at the moment we're finding it difficult to get the runs on the board here against England but we're going to try and press things up uh, Stokes now into Solizzano edges it and it's caught in the slips great catch there from England and Weston is a reduced to 74 for two. Butler with a brilliant catch off the bowling of Ben Stokes. And that brings in Shy Hope. We've also got Lendl Simmons still in there. Still he's made his 50, 54. Ball into Simmons who takes a big swipe and manages to catch an edge. And Besto takes the catch and he has gone for 55. Now that brings in Jelani Robinson alongside Shy Hope. And we're... We're in a bit of trouble now, but Shy Hope is doing all right with the with the bat, first of all. And I'll put Robinson up to try and add some extra runs. We're starting to score a bit now, so that this is good. Uh, we're going to add a little bit more aggression onto Hope. We've got a couple of overs left. I'll kind of let this get away from me a little bit. Stokes now into Jelani Robinson, who plays and misses. I'm going to play the next ball here. We're going to try and... Rashid now into Hope. one seven three Four for three. Hope with a good strike there. And they're going to come back for the single. And they're just going to get there just in time before the uh, three runs. So we've got 179 for three off 50 overs. Now that is going to be a very difficult total which to defend. But we're going to have a go at doing that. It's certainly better than our last game where we really, really were in trouble early doors. And we are going to try now to... So try and get an early wicket here against England. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with, we're going to play them into the block hole uh, with, with your man here. And we're also going to make sure that that is correctly positioned. So we're going to go around and do that as well. So we're now looking set to play the first over. And it is Searles into Hales. Oh, that's LBW, surely. He's got him first ball of the game. And that is a beautiful delivery, that, from Javon Searles. Alex Hales goes for zero. Joe Root now is in. And we can... Javon Searles now into Root's Root. Does he get an edge on that? No, he doesn't. Brathwaite now on the other end of the spectrum. And we are going to go along with the same kind of tactic in which we are using. But we're going to make sure that he stays over the wicket here to your man. And we're going to go with the power play field setting for both so it's Brathwaite now into Joe Roots Roots with a shot are they going to get run out it's a very very close ah oh, and he's gone a great run out and that means that Joe Root has got Ben Duckett run out there with a crazy call well, well I'll say it was Root it might have been Duckett that called for the run 
And now we've got your man, Johnny Bairstow, who's come in and done very well with the bat so far. And it's Brathwaite into root. Does he get the edge on it? Just creeps past that outside edge. And we're going to make a change here now. So we're going to bring in uh, Pollard. Uh, we're going to make sure that we come a little bit less uh, down the down the track. And we're going to go with the different field settings here for Pollard. Uh, and we're going to rest cells. We're going to bring in Greaves. Greaves will continue with the same sort of line and length that we've played with so far. And now it's Greaves into root. Oh, and it just gets past that outside edge. Good delivery, that. We could do with a wicket here. England are scoring quite freely. Root is playing really well. Greaves now into Root. Oh, and he's bowled him. Great delivery from Greaves. And he picks up the third wicket of the day. And that is Root gone for 55. England needs 63 at 2.9 and over. They're still in the catbird seat. Now, we're going to try and continue... With what we're doing here and hopefully we can get one of these two out best though greaves into best though that's lbw surely and the umpire puts the finger in the air best though goes for 52 and we've got butler and lawrence and another wicket here would be very very nice uh pollard has used all of his permitted overs gonna bring myers in myers has done really well with the ball and we're gonna continue with the same sort of field setting we've been using. Greaves has used all of his permitted overs. He's done really well uh, whilst coming on. We're going to bring Searles back on. And we're going to stick on the no power play settings for Searles. Searles has used all of his permitted overs. Brathwaite, therefore, will now come back into the crease. We need a wicket. We need a wicket. We're going to have to rely now on Cornwall as our off spinner. Now, we're going to... I'm going to try and play it a little bit more down the track. Oh, and that's it. Cornwall has given up nine runs in that over. And it looks like England are going to go... I mean, it hasn't been as comfortable as you'd expect from England. Four runs there. That means they need two runs at 0.7 and over. And it looks like they're now going to pick this up. Myers into Lawrence. And Lawrence is going to tick that off. Oh, a lovely shot in the air. Away to the boundary with one bounce for four. And England pick up another win by six wickets. But I do think there was a little bit of promise to come from that today. Um, I thought we were better than we were in our last game. So the third one day international, we were a lot poorer. I thought perhaps we... I kind of lost my eye really in terms of our batting. I thought we probably could have been a bit more aggressive early on. But again, England were very decent with the ball. They weren't giving much away. So we're now 4-0 behind. We're coming up to the fifth and final one-day international. It is another day-night game here in England. Uh, join us for that one tomorrow. So if you've enjoyed this episode, guys, remember to leave a like on the video down below. Also remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you, if you like Football Manager content, be sure to check out the channel uh, for that there's going to be plenty of stuff coming up when fm18 is released and there's also a couple of series that i've done on fm17 so far but for today guys i'm out of time i'll catch you again on the other side see more cricket captain content have a look over there there should be some videos coming up new episodes of rebuilding west indies and also don't forget if you're new to the channel make sure you pop down there and hit that subscribe button we've got more stuff coming up on the channel in the next few months and also be sure to check out my football manager content but for today, guys, thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch you again in the next episode.